एवरी वन सो इन अर्लियर लेक्चर वी टॉक्ट अबाउट पल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड बिफोर दैट वी टॉक्ट अबाउट बायनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेनी टाइम्स वेन यू विल रीड दिस टॉपिक आफ्टर पल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल सी अ फ्रेस लाइक पल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज द लिमिटिंग केस ऑफ द बायनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बट यू विल हार्डली फाइंड द प्रूफ सो आई थॉट लेट्स गिव अ प्रूफ फॉर दिस ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दैट द लिमिटिंग केस ऑफ अ बायनोमल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विल गिव मी द पल्सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन so limit n going to infinity b is the binomial distribution n is the number of trials p is the probability of success k is the probability i want to find for k number of successes now what is this by formula this is n choose k p raised to k q raised to n minus k you can see my earlier lecture on binomial distribution if you have any uh, queries or confusion what is my p the probability for number of successes what is your q it is 1 minus p Now what is this? N choose k n factorial upon k factorial into n minus k factorial. What is the probability of success? If lambda is the total number of successes and n is the number of trials, then what is the formula for what is the probability? Lambda upon n. So p is lambda upon n raised to k and q is one minus p. So one minus lambda by n raised to n minus k. Now what you do is you write. See, I want to cancel this n minus k factorial. So you write n factorial as n into n minus one into n minus two. Up to n minus k factorial. Before that, it will be n minus k plus one. This is lambda raised to k. This is n raised to k. This is k factorial. This is again I'm splitting by law of indices. One minus lambda by n raised to n into one minus lambda by n raised to minus k. Now you can see this gets cancelled over here. Okay. So let me just uh, erase this part over here. This is gone. K factorial. It is independent of n. So let me just take. This k factorial outside, okay. So and lambda and k are also independent of n. So you have lambda raised to k upon k factorial. Now what is left? If you recall Poisson distribution, e raised to minus lambda is left, and that's what we are going to get it from here. Okay. So this is gone. This is n raised to k. That means what? N into n into n into how many times? K times. Okay. Now see this will get cancelled. Again, you keep this n with this term, this n with this term, this n with this term. So what you get here is this is same thing. This is one minus one by n, one minus two by n, one minus three by n, one minus k minus one by n. Correct. Now as n goes to infinity, this will be zero. This will be zero. This will be zero. So you have one into one into one into one. So as n goes to infinity, this quantity is nothing but one. Okay, what is this quantity? If you remember, one plus x upon n raised to n. As n goes to infinity, this is nothing but e raised to x. So if you apply the same thing over here, your x is minus lambda. So as n goes to infinity, that quantity is e raised to minus lambda. Okay, so you have this thing lambda raised to k. k factorial e raised to minus lambda what about this now lambda is fixed k is fixed so as n goes to infinity you have something upon infinity which is 0 1 minus 0 is 1 so this term is also 1 as n goes to infinity so this is nothing but your p of lambda thus your poisson distribution is nothing but the limiting case for the binomial distribution so i hope the proof is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if everything is clear then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you